Well, I couldn't resist it. I just had to take one of these exquisite Calex lamps to bits to see what was uh, inside and how they formed the LEDs. Now, I've squished the LEDs up in here because I've already had this out. Now, this is a glass globe, and it's very clear that the LEDs in this circuit and this uh, lamp are, I, I would guess, put in manually because I couldn't think of a way a machine could do this because it takes quite a lot of force to put these LEDs into position and I'm guessing they're fed in, they're initially all lined up straight, fed in and then a tool like this is used to actually hook each layer of LEDs down inside to an appropriate position and I discovered that certainly when you got to the next, the second layer, if you just pulled them down to a right angle and then once they were all fanned out at a right angle, then you pulled them down again into the base. It set them all at the sa exact same angle um, by aligning them all up in the glass lamp itself. And they were pretty much the same angle uh, that they were in the lamp when I bought it. So I'm guessing that, you know, this may just be a very labour-intensive lamp and done shipping a bottle style. So, getting onto the power supply. This lamp is designed for European voltage, 230 volts, and inside is a capacitive dropper. This whole base here was um, potted in resin, white resin, which is a little bit annoying, makes it a wee bit hard to take to bits. And it was potted in a sort of circular format, and then a rubber sealing ring was put around. And when it was put into the lamp, uh, the se rubber sealing ring held it in position, uh, and they obviously then just drizzled glue around that to actually hold it. Um, and I'm guessing they probably let that cure before then gluing it into the actual... the chosen base, which in this case was an Edison screw base. Now, the circuit is very straightforward. It's exactly what I was sort of expecting. It's got a 100 ohm uh, inrush current limiting resistor. It's got a capacitor. Now, I can't actually measure the value of that capacitor because I don't have a um, capacitance meter with me right now. Um, and it was quite hard to get the resin off intact, so um, I'm guessing it's either 220 or 330 nanofarad. Probably 330, but uh, that's just a guess. 400 volts. There's a 1 mega ohm resistor um, soldered across the back of it as a discharge resistor. Um, a little um, bridge rectifier, tiny little bridge rectifier, surface mount, um, which converts the uh, um, limited AC into DC. Then uses this as a smoothing capacitor here, typical compact fluorescent lamp style smoothing capacitor. 400 volts, 4.7 microfarads. Then there's a 220 nanofarad capacitor, where is it? There it is, um, on the outside. And then um, that's just uh, to limit the current through the LEDs. Um, and then it's just a solid string of LEDs. Very simple, very neat lamps. Um, quite expensive lamps, but to be honest, well worth the money. These are the Calex um, LED decorative lamps.